having scrambled eggs, pancakes, and oatmeal, and I have some fruit that I washed for her but forgot to bring the bowl over, and she's having some milk. And today, this weekend is gonna be really hot, and, oh, I forgot, today's November 3rd. I don't know if I said that, but today's November 3rd, it's a Saturday. Um, so we decided, Daniel came home the other day and was like, let's go to the beach this weekend. I was like, but it was so last minute that I was like, no, you go, I'll stay. And then he was like, was it yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. He's like, oh, I have an appointment Saturday morning, so we'll just leave after that. And I was just like, okay. So that gave me all of Friday to do the laundry and um, doing the other stuff. But yesterday we went to my friend's house and we just had a play date with her daughter. And after that we came home and Olive took the longest nap known to mankind uh, or baby kind. And I was like, wow, she woke up to like six o'clock when Daniel got home. So she stayed up until pretty much nine, thirty, almost 10 o'clock. She was still awake. Um, but yeah, that was last night. So I did all the laundry. It's in the dryer sitting there and I have not packed. I mean, we're only going to be there for like 24 hours, but it's like, I didn't pack. I have anything. I don't have anything ready. I have her diaper bag ready. That's about it. <laughs> so yeah. Um, and when I say the whole family is coming, I meant the whole family. The two dogs are coming and they're going to fit in my little car. That's right. I have a little Corolla car and I didn't want to bring them, but we have no one available to watch the dogs and all they need is to be fed. Like someone has to feed them and bring them in at night and they're like totally fine. They're pretty much self-efficient, but it's going to be so hot this weekend and it's going to be windy and humid. It's going to be awful. So we're just going to go to the beach. We'll be back Sunday night evening. I don't know, but it'll be fun for Ollie right here. Last time we went to the beach was back in June for my brother-in-law's wedding and we brought Olive to the beach and she freaked out. And that was when I didn't know she was having like a sensory problem. So that was a little difficult with her. So I've been talking to Olive about it and we've been doing really well with sand when we go to the um, park, so hopefully, um, she'll be okay. Are you looking at your milk? You want milk? You have to say milk, Olive. Milk. Or point. Point. Milk. Ah, <sighs> breakfast time, breakfast time, breakfast time. Hey guys, so we're at Costco getting gas right now. Ooh. And the whole family's in the car. Daniel's getting gas. But Olive's back there, and I have Cricket right here and I have Jax. I don't know if you guys can see him. He's right there. Say hi Jax. And Olive's just uh, shaking her snack right there. She is. There she is. But we are on our way to Daniel's uh, family's beach house which is like a four hour drive. So or three hour drive from where we are. So it's gonna be good. This will be our first trip in my little car with everybody. The dogs. It's gonna be crazy. And it's so hot already, guys. It's super hot.
is like freezing cold, by the way. And all of this ran right into it. Oh my goodness. She's definitely gonna need a bath tonight. Guys, it is Monday, and I didn't end the vlog like usual. Um, so Sunday, we were only up in Cayucas for 24 hours, so we ended up having breakfast and lunch there, and then we left around 12.45, pretty much close to 1, and Olive was not having it because of the time change. She was freaking out, and she only slept one hour in the car, and it was like a three and a half hour drive because traffic and all that good stuff. So yesterday's drive was not worth vlogging because it was crazy. But um, Daniel drove halfway, I drove the other half. It was, it was all good. But um, yeah, this time change is just awful. Just Olive, when she was like back last November, she was like maybe seven months. And for some reason, the time change when she was like a little infant was okay, it wasn't that big of a change, but now that she's older, she's a year, and she actually has like a schedule, it's completely thrown off. So today, she slept for four hours straight, which was nice, but she woke up early, and I'm just like, and I'm just like, oh great. But yes, right now, um, I'm getting all of ready, we're gonna go for a quick walk, that's why I have my workout gear on. It's like 4.30 guys, 4.30 the afternoon but um yeah so that's pretty much it we didn't really do anything today today's monday so we didn't really do much just hang out and try to like adjust ourselves with this time change so yay so i think i'm gonna end this vlog here i hope you guys like this spontaneous trip to cayucas give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye say hi Say hi. Say hello. <laughs>